Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to look at another common configuration in three-phase systems, the delta connection. In this setup, we again have three coils or windings, one for each phase, phase A, phase B, and phase C. The key feature of a delta connection is that the coils are connected end-to-end, -end, forming a closed loop that looks like a triangle, or the Greek letter delta. Unlike a star connection, there is no central neutral point. Now let's look at the important relationships, starting with voltage. The voltage across any single coil is the phase voltage, or V phase. The voltage between any two of the main lines, like between phase A and phase B, is the line voltage, or V line. In a delta connection, you can see that the lines are connected directly across the coils. This makes the relationship very simple the line voltage is exactly equal to the phase voltage. Next, let's talk about current. The current flowing inside one of the coils is the phase current, or I phase. The current flowing in one of the main output lines is the line current, or I line. In a delta connection, the line current is higher than the phase current. The specific relationship is that the line current is equal to the square root of 3 times the phase current. The square root of 3 is approximately 1.73. So, to quickly summarize the two key rules for a delta connection, which are the opposite of a star connection, the line voltage equals the phase voltage, and the line current equals the square root of 3 times the phase current. Thanks for watching.